Hi Virgos, welcome to your weekly love reading for the month of June. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, these are very general. Um, if you are on the cusp of a Libra or a Leo, check, watch their videos to see if they resonate with you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, my links are down below. Okay. Um, so we're doing singles involved and committed again. Okay. Let's start with singles. You guys have the stork, you know, and Leo got the stork. They got the stork in the involved category but anyway that's interesting if you're on the cusp of a leo or you're dealing with a leo watch their video because they did get that card too um although it doesn't matter if it's not you know. anyway stork is about transformation relocation longing for something someone from your past coming back Ooh, some of you guys are getting back with an ex and you're 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 uh, how do i say this you're pretending to be single you're not telling anyone yet. I already see a collective message here. Yep, yep, yep. That was easy. I don't think this video is going to be that long. But you know what? Every time I say that, it's always the opposite. Okay, the garden is other people, um, uh, gatherings, the public, the media, publishing something. Okay, announcing something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the collective message already. It's actually pretty good. Okay. So that's one of the, if you're new to my channel, I give many different meanings per category. Okay, per meaning, okay. Because a lot of different people are watching. Everyone's situation is different. So the stork and garden together, like I said, there's an ex for some of you, someone from the past you're getting back with, but you're saying you're single right now. You're kind of like, the garden's not really hiding out, but the garden is more about revealing something. So it's like, uh, not that your family doesn't approve of this person, but let's just say you just don't want to say it yet. Like, you know, those friends we have sometimes like, Oh, guess what? What? Um, I'm talking to him again. Really? Or yeah, we got back together, but don't say anything yet. This is the kind of storyline that I'm seeing here. Yep. But I don't see it being bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this kind of combination with the stork in the garden, this is one of those combinations where I call it the, um, in time, everyone will eventually know about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, that resonates. But I just kind of said how it might resonate. And even if it's even if it's not someone from your past, just anything. Okay, it's like in time, everyone will know about this. They're going to need to. It's it's inevitable or inevitable. How do you say that? I can never say that word right. Uh, some of you meet someone from a distance, long distance, or even another country or a different culture. So they may not be far away from you, but they're from like a different cultures, different race. Nothing wrong with that. Just saying, um, it's someone that you, you've never dated before possibly, or another meaning is, uh, you meet someone while traveling or while relocating, or they meet you while they're traveling or vacationing in your area, or they had just moved there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's another storyline I'm seeing with singles. You go somewhere where you've been before and this is where you meet somebody or you meet a bunch of people. Like you're just kind of mingling, right? The The stork is is kind of uh, flying around, right? Think of a bird. What, what does a bird do, okay? Yeah, we also have the bird's card in this reading as well. How interesting. But the stork is another type of bird. So think of what a bird does, it flies. So flying around, just kind of meeting new people this week. N overall, not bad if you're single. Let's go to involved. So this is a very 50-50 type of combination. It could be a little bit negative. It's not that negative, so don't worry. But it can be a little negative, and I'll get to why. But in general, the heart is love, feelings, compassion, romance. Obviously, you know, the heart, the heart. Uh, the birds can be very 50-50. It could be soulmates. It could be uh, couples, twos of something. But it could mean phone calls or texts, text it's like the letter kind of. Um, but the birds can also be stress or a lot of fluctuations. The collective is a really good, I kind of want to say it now, but I want to wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Um, all right. So the heart and birds. For some of you, this is positive, like I said. But some of you, this is kind of saying some of you know this person's your soulmate. Or you know that they're your soulmate. And here, I'm, I want to jump to the collective. This could be an aha moment, an epiphany, a realization. I know this person is my soulmate. Or this person says, and no, oh, I want to go to the collective. I want to be a little brat right now and go and tell early. I want to tattle. Huh. I'm the baby of four girls, by the way. So I'm good at that. <laughs> I was at the tattletale. 
I wasn't a bad kid, but still. You know how the babies, in, if you're the youngest in the family, I know how you feel. Oh yeah. Um, we're the breaths. Okay, well, any, anyway, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, someone knows that, that, that this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what else? It could just be a lot of romantic, emotional phone calls, a lot of texting, just a lot of lovey-dovey texting. I love you. How do you like that? Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Just a lot of romantic text messages, okay? Um, a lot this week, okay? But for some, the negative side of this, these two, slightly, it's not that bad though. Just slightly negative is just somebody has unstable emotions or they're just nervous or unstable affection or that this connection brings you stress this week. So yeah, it's because of birds can be about stress. Oh yes, it can. Like on constant alert even. Okay. Um, like worried, it could be somebody's worried that someone doesn't care enough. That's one of the messages when you have these two together. Someone's worried. Do they still love me? Do they still like me? Something like that. Or worried that they might lose them. Usually I won't say that unless the coffin is next to this to the birds because that's one of the combination where it means I'm worried I'm going to lose this person. So I'm not really seeing worried about losing the other person, but it could just be worried about the other person in general. Just like, hey, haven't heard from you. What's going on? Like that. <clears throat> or worried about something they said or something they didn't say or that there's just another message here for for others of you could be that there's just too many distractions interfering with this connection this week like just a lot of stuff going on like somebody's just too caught up in um, having to multitask so many things at home or at their job or whatever it is that it could be drama sometimes the birds is a drama card a lot of drama concerning this relationship yeah not that that's a positive thing, but, you know, again, the birds isn't that negative, but we, you know, so it could be drama, gossip, chit chat, but usually it's like stress fluctuations. All right. Committed. So this is pretty good. This is a yes answer. <laughs> if you're not married, some of you get engaged this week or you decide to make this relationship official. Okay. So if you're not saying yes to this person, then there's definitely a like, hey, you want to be together? Okay, yeah. It's like something becomes official. So in other words, if you're not committed, you will be this week. That's what, based on my cards, it says that for a lot of you. These are just general, but just saying, okay? Um, again, because this could be a yes answer, um, the key is also finding relief to a problem. Uh, the key can also be being released from a contract, especially like released from something and the ring can be a contract. I forgot to mention that in the last video that I had the ring. So the ring is relationships, marriage, a promise, mutual, shared, something, but it could be a contract. So sometimes we see these two as um, being released from a contract. Yeah. So um, generally these are very positive cards next to each other with the ring and the key, but one of the slight negatives is maybe not negative for everybody. This could be a mutual agreement to end the marriage. Although technically this is not really an ending of a relationship, just being honest. But if you're looking at the exact context of these two cards, it can be released from a contract. Now for some of you, okay, spirit tells me this is someone else's marriage they're getting out of, okay? Okay, so for others of you, this could be somebody that you're dealing with that is getting out of their marriage or their relationship to be with you. So again, you might be getting married this week or being asked to get married or making a relationship official. But for others of you, there is a relationship that's going to become official because either you got out of a relationship or they did. So you guys can be official. Aha. Aha. Uh -huh. See? Aha moment. That's what that is. See, the Lenormand predicts what you are going to say word for word. Okay. <laughs> How funny is that? Um, my cards are psychic. Okay. All right. Collective message. Let's go. Okay. So obvious message here is announcing to everyone who didn't know before um, is that you two are in a relationship or you're announcing that you're getting married or getting back together. All right, it's pretty obvious here. Unless some of you, some of you, the announcement is we split up, it's be, but it was mutual. 
it's mutual. It's, it's both agreed upon. There's no arguing about it. So either way, it's very generally positive. Um, do I see anything else? That's mainly what I get here. That's mainly what I get here. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to say anything negative. I don't really see anything else for now. Yeah, I hope that helped. I got to do some work, so I'm going to keep it at that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.